In this final video of the section, we will explore two essential layout types in React Native, relative and absolute layouts. These layouts are based on the position property, which defines how an element is positioned within its parent container. There are two possible values for the position property, relative and absolute. Let's take a look at relative layout first. The default value of the position property is relative. In this layout, an element is positioned according to the normal flow of the layout. It remains in its original position and can be offset from that position using the top, right, bottom, and left values. Importantly, this offset does not affect the positioning of any sibling or parent elements. In an absolute layout, an element does not participate in the normal flow of the layout. It is instead laid out independently of its siblings. The position of the element is determined by the top, right, bottom, and left values, which specify specific coordinates relative to its parent container. Let's head back to VS Code and understand with the UI. We will begin by converting each box into a square by setting width to 100 and height 100. This will give us seven square boxes in the UI. Let's now take a look at the two layouts. First, we have relative layout, which is the default. Elements in the container are positioned according to the normal flow of the layout. If you offset an element, it is always relative to their position. To demo that, I'm going to set on box one, top 75, left 75, and on box four, top 75, left 75. Take a look at the devices, and you can see both have been offset relative to their original position. The offset also does not affect the positioning of any sibling elements. Let's now contrast this with absolute positioning. On box four, I'm going to set position absolute. I will also change top to 100 and left to 100. If we take a look at the UI, we can see that box four is now positioned using specific coordinates relative to its parent container. In this case, 100 pixels from the top and 100 pixels from the left of the top left corner of the container. You can also notice that the box does not take part in the normal layout flow. After box three, we have box five without any space left where box four was initially present. Very different to how box one is positioned. I would recommend using relative layout when responsiveness and adaptability are crucial for your application, as it offers a more maintainable and flexible approach for handling different screen sizes and orientations. Use absolute layout when you need precise control over the position and size of UI components and for building custom animations with fixed coordinates. With that, we conclude the section on layouts in React Native. Throughout this section, we have learned how to lay elements using the Flexbox model, understood the various properties Flexbox offers, and gained insight into the differences between relative and absolute layouts. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.